Four, five. 655, five minutes away from the CBS World News Roundup. Now, WBBM Business News in for Len Walters. Bloomberg and Gina Cervetti. And good morning, Pat and Felicia. It does look like a market rebound here at the open this morning with the futures moving higher from the CME in Chicago. S&P futures up 15, NASDAQ E-minis up 34, Dow E-minis up 98. NYMEX crude oil is down, though, 1.4% now at $34.23 a barrel. At the Chicago Board of Trade this morning, corn is up three quarters, wheat up one quarter, soybeans are up two and a quarter cents. Now, we did see a negative week last week. Uh, we saw equities look at their worst two-day drop in three months. In fact, over the course of the last two days, we saw the benchmark S&P down three and a quarter percent. The S&P 500 today will start out at 2005 after falling almost 2% on Friday. The Bloomberg WBBM Chicago Index was down almost 2% as well. Looking at the whole week in the local index, did a little bit better than that, but still lower, down 1.2%. The worst performer last week was Sears Holdings. It fell 12%. The best performer, though, was Exelon. Shares of Exelon were up just about 4% on the week. Ride-hailing company Lyft plans to raise as much as a billion dollars in new funds, according to a filing. It's a round of financing that analysts say could sharply boost the valuation of Uber's largest U.S. rival. Now, filings experts peg the pre-money valuation of Lyft at as much as $4.5 billion, but Uber has a valuation of about $62.5 billion. With business at 25 and 55, and in the noon business hour, live from the Bloomberg Newsroom, I'm Gina Cervetti, News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. WBB.